so scared. All I wanted to do was play with you. Please come and play with me. I'm so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will show you where I play hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. I know things no one knows. You're going to die. Help me. I'm begging you. Can you help me? I'm alone and scared. I lost my mommy. Can you help me? I'm coming for you. I'm going to be there, watching you. I will get to you. I will find you. Come to me, the men in the dark said, or else you won't see the sunset. I didn't see this as a threat, so he screamed at me into a bed. I don't want to play alone, but when I cry, I hear a groan. I see a figure behind the wall. I'm so afraid he's going to fall. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 Here in the forest, dark and deep, I offer you eternal sleep. telephone it's got to be just hell for the hunchback almost three months no bathing must be pretty ripe in that cell i would say poor creep well was our friend abandoned he's been abandoned there might even be a case having to do with that psychological abuse that hasn't been addressed yet you remember that one boy's got a lot against him is he paying the price yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's paying the price. Learn from this experience, folks. Could be you. Yeah, he's uh, paying the price. There's no doubt about that. Wouldn't want to be him. All alone in a cell without my phone. Don't know what to do with my time. I made mistakes in my life And I see that I'm paying it with strife Will I be ever to get out of here? I know that I've done so much wrong I can't sit here and sing that song But I will say that I will be free one day Why did everybody abandon me? Ricky abandoned me. My subscribers abandoned me. Where are they now? Where are they now? Where are they now? The guard doesn't really trust me, nor I do him. I tried to do him righteous one day. And was rejected by him Said I need my phone Then I'll leave you alone I'm so lonely I can cry <laughs> As I count the days go by Nearly three months, oh my I wish I never committed those crimes. All I can give you is some ridiculous rhymes. 
that I'm here to stay. But my conscience says, no way, no way. What did I do to deserve this? Why am I here? I'm in a lot of fear. What comes next? I really do not know. I'm in fear. Do I really belong in here? I made my mistakes. And that's why I'm in here. I thought people were helping me. But I guess they're not. All one big scam. A whole lot. Where's my money, Ricky? Where did it go? I have no attorney, and that I think you know. Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of shit going down in funky town. Uh, Barry's been abandoned, apparently, and uh, he's not liking it at all. Well, I, I don't blame him. All this uh, false hope. Someone was going to help him out. He can't even afford a lawyer. Doesn't have a lawyer. But we were told that he did. That he had an actual immigration lawyer. <laughs> really? Really? Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. Please come and play with me. I'm so lonely. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will show you where I play hide and seek. Do you want to play hide and seek? You hide, and I'll find you. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you. I know things no one knows. I know things nobody knows. You're going to die. You're going to die. Help me. I'm begging you. Can you help me? I don't think there's any help for you, son. I really don't think so. This is kind of those things of, uh, you remember the ghost of future, past, and present, or whatever, and all that shit? I think, uh... Some time in a slammer could actually help this little boy out a little bit. That he could, instead of contemplating his navel, he could maybe contemplate all the things that he's done to hurt other people in this world. And uh, giving him that time to reflect is it really going to help him at all? I, I really feel that this character is beyond reproach. He's he's beyond help. He's beyond ever changing. You're going to die. Help me. I'm begging you. Can you help me? Well, I don't think you're getting any more help, for what I understand. And uh, if some people think, come on, that's kind of cruel, dude. Why would you wish that on anybody? Well, he's, you know, not just anybody, you know. Some of the dastardly things that he's done is well-deserving of what's going on in his life right now as we speak. As we speak. I know. I'm scared. I lost my mommy. Can you help me? Well, your mommy's not going to help you, nor is your family going to help you, nor is any trolls or so-called supporters going to help you. I'm coming for you. I'm going to be there, watching you. I will get to you. I will find you. Well, I found you, <laughs> and look where you're at right now. <laughs> oh, is that a dastardly laugh I just gave out there? No, it's a laugh of satisfaction, because if anybody deserves what's going on in their life right now, this individual absolutely deserves it without question at all. And everybody knows that. So some people say, I don't know, aren't you going a little bit strong on this guy? No, in all consideration, I'm really not. And he's lucky that's, you know, He's alive in a jail cell, and he's got food, and, uh, well, I guess maybe he lost some of his uh, privileges. Did that happen? I think he lost some of his... I think he lost some kind of privilege. Uh... Poor little boy, as he sits in jail... What will he do next? I ask very kindly. 
no attorney to help the boy. Less visitors. Oh boy. Sweating in my cell. It's beginning to feel like hell. What am I to do? I'm not well. Well, 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 well. Look, he got there because he deserved to be. That's one thing on YouTube to make accusations and allegations against somebody. He did this. He did that. He said this. But he did that all. He did that all. He did that all to himself. And, you know, supporters of this particular individual might say, Ah, come on, man. He don't deserve that kind of shit, man. Well, he does. That's why he's there. There's no question about it. So rejoice in the fact that my promises came through. Okay? Okay? Be happy with that and move on, really. Let the, uh, let the justice system take over. Let them do what they need to do. Do I see shadows on the wall? Is this going to be my great fall? I can't sleep at night. I can't fight the fight. Is it going to be justice after all? Creeps, creeps, creeps. They invade my head at night. Creeps, creeps. I don't think I could win this fight. I thought I had some help. But instead I have to yelp, yelp. The world's against me, can't you see? I'm in jail, seemingly for eternity. Now that I lay my head to sleep, I realize so much now that I'm just a creep. These walls are getting closer and closer in. Feeling claustrophobic. Please get me out of here. And if I had any, I'd pull my hair. So many promises made to me. Nobody kept them, as you can see. I'm creeped out by this place, you know. I don't know if I'm coming or I'm going to go. Where's my next stop? Please, not the big house. Please, not the big house. Please, not the big house. Where's the road? Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? Oh, it's a glorious morning here in the swamp. <laughs> oh, God, too much fun, really. No, but in reality, I joke around about this, but, you know, he's kind of like where he should be. And I don't think there's one person out there would disagree with me on that. Okay. And uh, all the information that I've gotten is fairly accurate. So it's just... Uh, a matter of just uh, putting him aside for a while, folks, really. Let the justice system do what they need to do. And it's out of my hands at this point, really. It's out of my hands, as I've been told. It's out of my hands. Sit back, rest, take a breath. We'll do the rest for you. Okay? Great service motto. We'll do the rest for you. Kick back. And that's what I'm doing, basically. I don't need to spend any more money. I don't need to do anything at this point yet. So let him suffer. And, you know, the best revenge is justice, really. Besides, you know, success or living well. What do you think about that, Ken Unger? Yeah. Anyway, hope my signal's okay. You know I mean? I have trouble with this thing all the time on here. Yeah. Sorry about that, but that does happen on my show. It's a monopoly. You know, you either choose this... Uh, Internet provider, you just don't have any uh, internet at all. Kind of what it comes down to. Yeah. 
Anyway, it's a partially cloudy day here on the islands. I hope your day is going well. Your morning or whatever, wherever you are, is going very well for you. It's going very well for me. Yeah, we are、uh, kind of、uh, jumping from topic to topic on here lately, but I I really choose to get a little more diverse with my material on here. And、uh, one of the issues I was going to discuss is going to be、uh, you know relationships out here and people who claim. To be experts on relationships, but yet they've gone through four different women in their tenure here in the Philippines. So we may talk about that on the next show, if there is a next show, because I, I really don't know from show to show what the hell I'm doing here. Really, I really don't. You know, sometimes、uh, I sit and think about a topic, and sometimes topics just come to my head. I say, yeah, that'll be a great one to talk about on here.、Uh, we would, you know, gather some good. Dialogue on these topic matters. Some of the things I read are in forums. It's interesting to hear how other people see the Philippines and people who have gone through relationships and what they've actually experienced. And you know, a lot of the folks. It's a little hint of the show now. I think a, a lot of the folks out there、uh, who pretend to be experts on relationships have not had a successful relationship. That's to say, I think about、uh, what they're trying to preach.、Um, You know, how do you define a successful relationship? Well, one that lasts, of course. You know,、uh, <laughs> finding the right woman, of course, that that really does help. But I think、uh, a lot of these people are basically chasing their tails when they come here to the Philippines. And、uh, I think、uh, if they would just concentrate on on one woman that has, you know, any kind of merits, and to explore that woman just a little bit more, and see if it's just worth pursuing. Instead of well, you know, this is candy store, and I, I gotta try the chocolate one, but I just tried the,、uh, the Neapolitan candy, and that has some merit to it. But I don't know, I don't know. Well, you know, you could chase your tail the whole time. I mean, how old are you now? How old are you? You know, your time's going by. I have no number of bloggers that are chasing their tail out there that just really, really don't know what the fuck they're doing or how to get to where they're going. How to achieve what they want to achieve? So they manage to move to the Philippines. Okay, you got that part out of the way. Okay, now time for a relationship, and they just can't seem to get it together, you know. And they say it's the women, but it's not always the women all the time. It's the person, their personality, and so forth, that's preventing them from having a good relationship. But we'll keep this.、Uh, we'll keep this for another show, I think, and we could. Really elaborate on this a whole lot more. We we've, we've got some local YouTubers out here where the women have left. I mean, then you well, we've got to examine the character of that person, the personality, and wonder why they left them. Okay, so I can think of one person in particular. Somebody just had a a woman that left him, and I say to myself, "Oh, gee, duh! Why didn't that happen a long time ago? I could probably see why, unless she likes being married to Cliffy from." Fucking、uh, cheers or something, but hey, that's a good topic matter for another time. So we could concentrate on that on another show. Don't you know? Don't you know? Don't you know? Well, I'm not going to drag this out anymore.、Um, we were just having a little fun this morning,、um, and the topic matter was. Mm, pretty much who you think it was about, and、uh, I did an upload. It says it's got to be pretty ripe by now, almost three months or whatever it's been. No bathing facility, really. Hot, sweaty room. Man, those walls got to be closing in on him. Really do. <laughs> But. You know, I didn't do the crime, so I'm not doing the time. So that's what happens when you are him and does what he does very well, being himself. Nobody will disagree with me on that. With that being said, I gotta, I gotta hit the CR, my boys. Listen, you have a wonderful day today. Don't listen to bullshit on YouTube, and you know, don't give anybody credit they don't deserve. You know, if it's about me, it's well, it's not the truth. So. You know, look at it that. Okay, maybe I'll keep this on just a wee bit. Anybody else wants to show up and talk? Go right ahead. Be my guest. Okay, I'm back. You know, something interesting here. I was watching a documentary, and it had to do with some things about Admiral Byrd, who、uh, 
did a lot of the Arctic exploration. And something that was really interesting about that, he was in a small plane and uh, some kind of gravitational force forced him into this huge abyss in his writings, a huge cave that seemed to have guided him into there. And he heard, and what he saw was incredible. It was it was huge. It was huge. This tunnel, I don't know in height how high it was. There were plants and tropical things growing there. There's waterfalls. And he heard voices in his head saying that the world has to stop using nuclear weaponry. Pretty heavy duty shit, huh? It really is. A lot of people think there are extraterrestrials. But what a lot of people believe in that community of suspicion, and a scientific community also, that what we might refer to as aliens are right here on our own planet, that there are underground, this is a good topic for the future, underground civilizations that live here and share this planet with us. And they have been in full recognition of the fact that nuclear weaponry has been utilized on this planet could be utilized again and that they have to live on this planet too so they're worried about their own welfare put it that way you know what i could believe in that and i know you're gonna say uh-oh reptilian theories hmm fazio's reptilian theory you know what you ever see a fetus growing looks reptilian doesn't it has a tail and everything fazio could be right on that one never thought i'd say that never thought i'd say that it could be something to that actually could. Right. Nobody's ever noticed with a formation of the fetus and how it develops and there's a tail. Got these big old alien eyes and big cranium. Uh, I don't know, guys. I always thought that, uh, you know, there's kind of a thing going on with a uh, little blood history that we are basically, well, part alien. I said it, part alien, part alien. Why not? Why not? Why can't it be? Why can't it be? You just gotta have an open mind on that. Come on, look at the developing fetus. Come on. Oh, oh man. Uh, okay, a few of them are going back. That's good. Yeah, okay. I write the songs that make the young girls cry. Anyway, we're in a pretty good mood this morning. Um, you know, guys, if you don't have an open mind about things, I mean, the inventions would be done. Technology would be where it's at. You've got to have an open mind that you can create something that's going to make the world a better place. But unfortunately, they make things that are not going to contribute to the world being a better place. Of course, nuclear weaponry is going to probably be the demise of the planet if not another asteroid hits the Earth. And if you don't remember what happened, of course, you weren't there at the time, but the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, an asteroid that was about seven miles long hit the planet and that's when extinction happened and 75% of life on Earth disappeared. And the dust and rocks and everything that came from this asteroid was so intense that it created a uh, sulfuric dust that contributed to killing all life on Earth. And it darkened the skies with sunlight, so the temperature went down about 48 degrees less than normal it killed all life on the planet 75 percent of it anyway so we probably couldn't survive well the end of the human race that would end all our problems with it another asteroid hits the planet you know whoever survives survives i guess if you're underground or uh, maybe some species that you know can tolerate things like this that has a good survival background uh who knows but you know never plan for the future my friend because you're living day by day plan for your day not necessarily your future there are certain aspects of that I, I could buy you know plan for your future certain things but you've got to live for the day and keep that in mind anyway I hope you enjoyed my show I like to keep you entertained as much as I can uh, I like to be serious but I like to be a little goofy at times too and it just keeps me from being bored myself. So hope you enjoyed the show. Thumbs up, Tom Sack, Tom Sack. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're getting up there. 10.6 thousand. 10.6 thousand subs and counting. We'll talk to you another time here.